Let's go. The enfermera is in. Can I help you? Yeah, I'm having an allergic reaction to something. Oh, that is one angry rash. Take a seat. We'll need to take your vitals. Really? For a rash? We like to be thorough. We're a school. It's very easy for things to spread quickly among students. I'm not a student. Oh, what are you doing? This is a pulse rate monitor. Just relax. So you're not a student? No, I'm, I'm with the band. Ooh. Yeah, I'm their lighting designer. I bet turning on and off lights for a bank can be very stressful. Often, rashes are a sign of work-related stress. Yeah, yeah, it's, uh, it's stressful. Trust me. Hold still. This won't hurt a bit. Little nurse humor. <laughs> It's working. It's a holistic mixture of lemon juice, baking soda, white vinegar, and just a touch of aloe. It's only temporary. We need to get to the root of this stress of yours. I can't talk about it. Can I get some more of that medicine? In a minute. Maybe what you really need is a vacation. To get out of town. Like a little getaway. In a getaway car? What I mean is, you must have a boss breathing down your neck. No. No, I could really use some of that medicine. You'll get more medicine when we get more answers. Now, tell us more about this job. How long have you been on the tour? Do you have to be at the concerts? What does this have to do with my rash? I thought nurses are supposed to be nice. You thought wrong. You want some of this? Then spill! <clears throat> Adri, we went over this. Oh, I was supposed to be the bad nurse. You make being bad look so fun. Come on, I'm making you like crazy here. Okay, look. We all know you're hiding something. So, you can make this really easy, or you can make this really hard. Okay, fine. I'm sorry I ever took the job. I do what I'm told. You want to know why I'm stressed? Talk to Eli. He's a fraud. His music fooled me, and he's fooling all of you. Real nurse coming. You have 10 seconds. Uh, well, you know, gotta go. You know, more patients to see. Oh! Knock yourself out. When the school nurse came back, that might have been our last chance to get answers from Grady. And I didn't even get to question him about Maddie. Well, he did drop that weird bomb about Eli being some kind of fraud. What do you think that was about? Guys. Grady wasn't lying about Eli. What? Look, as you guys know, I've been an elite mega fan forever. She's broken down and dissected every one of their songs over and over. And I always thought I detected a mysterious frequency in their music, but I just thought it was their thing. Anyways, listen to this. Sounds I awesome. I love it worked. What are we looking at? It worked in music production software. I can filter it and separate the tracks. Now let me isolate the frequency spike. Now listen again. Ugh, sounds terrible. Okay. Now, listen again. Totally better. Whoa, crazy whoa. It's the biggest OMGCs in the history of OMGCs. There's a hidden sound enhancement in Elite's music. An ultrasound tone was laid in as a secret track. Okay, I may be smart, but when it comes to music, you lost me. Basically, Eli's music and his whole sound isn't great. It's barely even average, but he found a way to make us think it's good. I can't believe I didn't find the secret tone before. I mean, I did find it, but I told myself that it was just a part of Eli's genius. Turns out it's a part of his evil genius. My love for Elite clouded my judgment. <sighs> Not that I'm saying that's true for you and Maddie. I found something! 
What do you have? It's a video of Eli in high school before an elite was even formed! Welcome to my grandma's garage science. My latest project is in the field of subliminal sound enhancement, using sound frequencies to improve your listening experience. That's Eli? Looks like he's always been into this kind of thing, even back in his grandma's garage. So now that we know Eli's found a way to change how his music sounds, and that 3T minerals are used in making electronic devices, Eli could be building his own equipment using the stolen 3Ts, meaning we have a new suspect. But he's always on stage during the concerts, which is right where Brian and I will be. We can shadow Eli. Adrian Ember and I will be at the warehouse by the docks. We're gonna get some answers tonight. You have a visitor. It's a boy. Dr. Crawford, I'm Federal Agent DeFazio. This is Agent Feeney. We have some questions about the recent break-in here at Space Inc. And the whereabouts of one of your employees who may be a possible suspect. Certainly. Uh, I'm sorry, but you both seem awfully young to be Federal agents. We're a part of the New Youth Government Task Force, ma'am. That's all we could say for now. Feel free to call this number at the Bureau. Should put your mind at ease. Actually, I have a contact there myself. Agent Dale Cooper, if you don't mind. Don't mind at all. Cooper's a good man. Just make it quick. Our nation's security is at risk. I'm sure you understand. Five, 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 seven, seven, four, three. Got it! We're in! And we control the phone line. Voice altering app ready? You're all set! Special Agent Cooper's office. Why can the British accent? You want an official? Everything sounds official in England. Yes, this is Dr. Allison Crawford at Space Inc. I need authorization from Agent Cooper regarding to- Agent Cooper's in a high level security meeting right now. Wants to confirm Agents DeFazio and Feeney have arrived. They have. <laughs> Professor Cato did tell me the prototype could be very dangerous, but I can't believe he'd try and steal it. That's why his disappearance is a cause for concern. If he's innocent, he's got nothing to hide. But in the wrong hands, the research could be used as a weapon, making his owner very powerful. If the professor contacts you, you'll let us know? Of course. One more thing. We've learned Olivia James is coming to Space Inc. to improve the menu for Mission to Mars. Uh, yes. Is she a suspect? Not at the moment. But do you have any idea what type of culinary delight she may enjoy? We're through here. It was worth a shot. These wires simulate the feeling of being in low gravity. Ember and Tessa will be practicing the bunny hop, the slow motion jog, and the side to side. All of these maneuvers were used by our Apollo astronauts for their walk on the moon. Whoa, uh-oh! Dude, that right there is why Neil Armstrong called it one small step for man. You're getting it, Tessa. Come on, girl. Follow my lead. Excellent. And that right there is why we can now call it one giant leap for womankind. Son, you just got school. The good news for you future astronauts is that eating in space has come a long way. Each shuttle packs enough food to last the length of a mission, with a safe haven system providing every astronaut even more weeks of food in case of emergency. And you've told us that on any mission, things can and will go wrong, which means we have to be prepared to handle any problem. Funny you should bring that up. Let me guess. We're about to have one of those be prepared moments. Looks like there's a malfunction between mission control and our communication system. Trainees, this will be a test of your resilience and creativity. It will be your job to fix the malfunction and resume contact by the end of camp tomorrow. Okay, all communication has been cut off and we have till end of the day tomorrow to fix it. Any ideas? Settle down, everyone. Zach the big dog's here. Now, we'll run an analysis on the comm system Identify the prop and fix it. You're welcome. The system's got thousands of parts. It could take days to get us up and running again. You got a better idea? Mini me? We could build our own radio. At my other school, we made contact with the International Space Station through Eris. It was really cool. Look at you. 
Who's the big dog now, Zachary? Do you want to fill us in on what Eris is? Uh, the program supports putting amateur radio transmitters on board the International Space Station. That way, astronauts are able to make ham radio contact with users around the world. We could maybe strip parts from the simulator and make something. Soup's easy. We can make a diode from heating copper wire. Uh, also, we'll need a few other things. A coil, antenna, and a capacitor. Awesome. Uh, Gordon, can you start assembling the capacitor? Yeah, yeah, sure. Yeah, easy. Dude, it's just two pieces of metal separated by an insulator. Yeah, I, I know that. I, I just thought, cause like, day's kind of over, you know? If we move fast, we could do it, but I guess there's no need to rush and chance messing it up. Okay, we'll start first thing in the morning. By Stonewater. Today's Brian's guest is Adrian Adams, culinary chemist. And yes, that's a real thing. Her molecular gastronomy creations are out of this world. Literally, she's sending the first souffle to Mars. Today, we're making snacks to enjoy right here on planet Earth. I'll be whipping up my famous rainbow foam. And we're using Stonewater, the best H2O you know. A colorful, tasty treat blended by the power of science. Gelatin is a protein with the power to thicken liquids. Hey, I'm just doing some quality control. It's my job as the host. Mm -hmm. When dissolved in hot water, the gelatin protein strands trap water molecules, transforming the liquid into a semi-solid gel as it cools. Muy interesante. No? My quality control grade? Why? For yummy! Time to enjoy a refreshing thirst quencher, Agnes Arbor. You need fuel for photosynthesis. This school's shutting off drinking fountains every day from 10 to 2 because of the drought. <gasps> That's certified organic nut! Water is a rat, not a privilege. Uh, try stone water for your plants. Thanks, just the same, Cam, but my plants are salt of the earth. They don't do designer water. <laughs> Here she comes, say something. Awesome show today, Bri. I love the new set. Thank you. <laughs> Quick selfie. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Braden, about your show today. Hashtag off the hook, right? <laughs> okay, well, Bri for now. Yeah, then. So, Bri, if I could finish my tiny little sentence, I was gonna say your science show today felt like it was one big old commercial for stone water. So, what's the big deal? Mr. Stone sponsors my show, and stone water is the easiest way to stay hydrated and healthy. H2, oh yeah. Oh, I should use that for my show tomorrow. Right. the plastic balls are cooked up using this industrial chemical called bisphenol A, BPA for short. It's an endocrine disruptor, which sounds like a fancy science fiction term, but they're for real. They mess with our systems and can cause diabetes and, and heart disease. Dios mio. That sounds serious. Look, Mr. Stone said as long as the bottles stay out of the sun, it's all good. Come on, Ember, give Stonewater a chance. Everyone agrees it tastes better and it's better for you. Says who? Says right here on the bottle. I mean, what are you gonna drink? Water fountain water? There is no water fountain water! <sighs> Celebrities, right? Always on the run. So get this, Kyle's going to the dance with me. So get this, Kyle's going to the dance with me. Hey, Michaela. I have something to tell you and I've been trying to tell you for days, so I'm just gonna say it. You okay? Kyle's not going to the dance with Hannah, he's going with me! What? What? I was trying to ask Kyle for you, Em, on your behalf, but it came out all wrong, and he thought I was asking him myself, and now, uh, just as friends, and so now we're meeting up there. I'm so sorry. It was all a huge mistake. 
Oh, you bet it was a huge mistake. Major infraction of the girl code. Casual ha ha, it's all good laugh or quietly sinister mwa ha ha, this isn't over yet laugh. <laughs> you have to admit, it's kind of funny. <laughs> I mean, I know you were only trying to help me out. Exactly. Yeah, and, and look at it this way. Now I definitely know Kyle will be at the dance. I'm serious, Cam. I'm 100% fine. Really? Because I'm not. I'm gonna need a moment. 